Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 48. The word origin today is kangaroo. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. Uh, the word kangaroo actually does come from an Aboriginal tribe language called uh, Gugu Yimitir. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, referring to a series of large black kangaroo. Uh, this was originally recorded and documented by Captain Cook, the, you know, the very famous Captain Cook that sailed all around the world for Britain and went to many places. Uh, the interesting thing uh, about this word origin is that there has been a long-standing myth. Remember, a myth is something that a lot of people believe is true, but actually, in fact, it's not true. Uh, that Captain Cook, uh, that Captain Cook's record was wrong, and he must have made a mistake. Uh, this is due to Captain Philip King, who returned to the same area of Australia and asked the same tribe about 50 years later. So he asked the same question. He got a different response, and when he got a different response, he assumed that oh, Captain Cook was wrong. He made a mistake. Cross that out. This is the right answer. So, uh, and yeah, so it was believed and reported for a long time. The Aboriginal response meant, I don't know. So they thought that he must have heard another word, like, you know, either Captain Cook himself or one of his assistants might have asked the tribal people, what's the name of that animal? And maybe they didn't understand and they accidentally said, you know, I don't know. And they reported, okay, the animal's name is, I don't know, you know. In, in that language, of course. Uh, and the word kangaroo originated from that response that, you know, it kind of stuck and it stayed over the years. So this is what was believed. This story is often uh, reported or uh, heard. Even when I went, I think I went to Australia for the first time about 20, 30 years ago, and I heard the same story. Uh, I think that a lot of tour guides like to tell a story like this. It's, it's much more entertaining than telling the truth. Uh, and I think I, even in a guidebook, I think I read this same sort of story. But now, you know, when you research on it, you find out that this one is actually a myth. All right, let's continue. Uh, however, history proved Captain Cook right. In 1898, an ethnologist, you know, that's like... So it's a branch of anthropology uh, that also studies how cultures develop and probably looks at their languages as well. Uh, W.E. Roth wrote a letter to a famous Australian um, newspaper uh, of the day confirming uh, Kangaroo was correct. Okay. Since that time, there has been a number of other ethnologists that have also confirmed it. Now, even though he wrote it and he confirmed it, uh, they say that newspaper never really printed a retraction. Maybe they liked the idea. The, the, the fake story sounded better than the real story. It was more entertaining. So uh, not so unlike a lot of uh, stuff that's reported in the media today. Uh, sometimes they prefer the untrue story or the fake news to the real news. Uh, all right. So confirm. Therefore, Captain uh, Philip King was wrong. And some people think what he heard was probably like another term. Uh, that was actually similar to like a edible animal. So maybe when Captain King asked or his assistant asked, what's the name of that animal? And they said, oh no, what is that? And they said, oh, it's an edible animal. You can go eat it. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Some people suggest that or think that might be it. But anyway, uh, we find out that actually Captain Cook was right and his record was right uh, from the original one. <laughs> Way back, you know, way back in the early days when Captain Cook first went there. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope you found it entertaining. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.